The man who owns this historic farm here on Dooley Station Road in the Croom section of Upper Marlboro is 76-year-old Jerry Lee Holly, now charged with animal cruelty. Holly refused to speak to me today and told me to get off the property when I tried to contact him for reactions. A captive herd of zebras and other exotic animals could be seen from Sky 9 on the farm today. But it's the sad saga of at least three escaped zebras that has landed Holly in trouble with the law. Two zebras are now dead. One escapee was found September 16th tangled in an illegal snare that had been set just two feet from Holly's fence line, according to court documents. Another captive animal was found dead yesterday by investigators on the farm. No cause of death was revealed. Investigators wrote the snared zebra should have been seen or heard while it was dying from being caught in the snare if the caretaker had attended to the zebras in the fenced enclosure. Investigators added the snared zebra most likely died of dehydration after a period of a few days struggling in the trap. Investigators noted that when the zebras first escaped in July, Holly had no plan to recapture the zebras at that time. The two deaths had provided sufficient circumstantial evidence of neglect to warrant a criminal charge, according to court records. They're, they're sure. still out there, and we get video of them every day, and we keep track of where they're at and whether they're healthy and safe. Meanwhile, the caretakers of a neighboring property who found the decomposing remains of the snared zebra say they're now trying to take care of the two surviving escapees that are still roaming free in the area. We monitor the zebras on live camera feeds, cameras we bought. Theodore McKenzie and Bethany Petrie now feeding the zebras to keep them from roaming. And they're now raising money in an attempt to hire a veterinarian and an expert rescue team from outside Maryland to come and capture the two surviving escapees. Our goal is to help the zebras that are out Someone maliciously hurt one of them. The fact that there's documents now, it just feels even more real. Prince George's County Animal Control Authorities did not respond to WUSA 9's request for comment today. Mr. Holly here on the farm is still in possession of the remainder of his zebra herd. He brought 40 of them to the farm this summer from a property he owns in Florida, according to county officials. In the Croom section of Upper Marlboro, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.